Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And thank heavens I've finally made it through to the last video of the day. With YouTube playing up as it has, it's been a hell of a job. But uh, it is the last one, so let me ask you now to please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that button if you are a new viewer, or if you're a regular viewer who is yet to subscribe. But if you're a regular viewer who is subscribed, do please check you still are. YouTube keeps bouncing people out and unsubscribing them. It's a bugger and there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, if you're a fan of Scottish football, and I know a lot of you are, uh, you have a job, really, in watching football because everything seems to be behind paywalls. Uh, of course, obviously, the big tournaments you can go free to wear, but all the run-ups to it, all the qualifiers and that behind payroll, uh, pay, paywalls. So when a big tournament does come along, it's your chance to shine, to follow the team. Uh, Steve, Steve Clark's lads have worked hard. They've made it to the Euro finals later this year. And everyone in Scotland will be sitting down ready to watch the games. Uh, they'll see the Scotland game against Germany because uh, even STV aren't mad enough to give that one up. They all want to watch it. So that one's guaranteed and safe. But the other two qualifying games, eh, not so much. Because the STV tech crew want to go on strike, give a summer of disobedience, and you're likely to lose Scotland's football games. Oh joy, what it is, eh? It's hard enough being a Scottish fan without that. Let's take a look. So, coverage of Scotland's opening Euros game against Germany is safe as STV staff vote to go on strike action. Steve Clark's men face the hosts in the opening match of the tournament, but the National Union of Journalists reckon industrial action could have an impact for armchair fans. Now, STV are the broadcasting wing of the SNB, and if people in Scotland are settling down and going to be watching the match, hey, the match is on a minute, go, Shuey, give me a wee McEwan's ready to go, and then it's all of a sudden, bang, this match will not be shown due to industrial action by STV staff. Part after hurling the can at the television screen, then going to Curry's and buying a new TV, you're immediately going to blame STV staff, which means you're automatically linking it to the SNP, which means the SNB are coming one step further to being completely alienated in the eyes of the public. And that is a good thing, but you don't want to miss your football. Scottish TV viewers have been told to be ready for a summer of disruption at STV. The National Union of Journalists claim potential strike action could impact coverage of Scotland's opening Euro 2024 match against Germany on the 14th of June, as well as potential Westminster election in the spring, as well as the lunchtime and evening news bulletins. Who will that inconvenience? Staff at the broadcast are voting on industrial action after last-minute talks brokered by ACAS fell apart. The NUJ blamed STV, saying that the company refused to make an improved offer on pay. Uh, a previous indicative ballot showed 84% of members were in favour of a strike action on a turnout of 94%. So that is a fairly high percentage going forward, and that would mean, undoubtedly, a strike. Despite the union threat, the Scottish Express understands that Euro 2024 coverage of STV is safe regardless of the strike action, they say. STV, which has offices in Glasgow, Edinburgh, Dundee, Aberdeen and Inverness, holds the Channel 3 licence to cover Central and North Scotland. Between 2019 and 2022, it made an operating profit of £87.2 million. Well, whoopee do. The NUJ claims the current pay offer represents an increase of 2.5% for some staff. Or, if you want to put it in real terms, a pay cut. Uh, lower earners getting 6%, which is still below the rate of inflation measured by the CPI, including owner-occupiers' housing costs, as well as a high, which are as high as 9%. So they're offering a below inflation pay rise. They're offering a pay cut. Basically, they're saying, look, here's a pay cut for you. Keep working. Um... Nick McGowan Lowe, the NUJ's National Organiser for Scotland, said STV News is Scotland's most watched news channel and for the past four years in a row, uh, and that is down to talent, skill, and hard work of our members in the newsrooms around Scotland. He said, without the award winning coverage, <laughs> have you seen it? Uh, anyway, which allows STV to fulfil its public service uh, obligations, STV wouldn't be able to have secured the renew. The renewal of their Channel 3 licence. Because, of course, they're outside of the ITV network. This is the thing. 
so they don't operate under the same schema as ITV although they are kind of the ITV of Scotland but uh, they are very very politicized they are pro SNP they are very anti-union and that's reflected a lot in their editorial and in their content Anyway, and I'm only saying that I know most I know most of my viewers know that, but there will be some viewers who won't be aware of that. So I wasn't patronising. I was explaining. Sometimes you have to do this. Uh, anyway, it's frustrating that after a year of reporting the impact of the cost of living on communities across Scotland, that management are insisting that their own staff's pay should be eroded by inflation at a time of increased costs for housing, electricity and food. Indeed, they're sitting there going, we're the greatest news channel. Look, as we're reporting on this and this and this and this. And then knowing that inflation is high, knowing the cost of living is hard, they're going, yeah, have a pay cut. Uh, the STV board can avoid costly and damaging strike action, as well as angering their local audiences who depend upon the broadcaster's news coverage by coming back to the table with a meaningful offer. Well, minimum, you've got to be going 9%. You've got to at least match inflation or it's a pay cut. And I don't blame them at all for going on strike for a fair wage. However... If they do that, and if they disrupt the football, they'll find pretty soon that they will be alienated in the eyes of the Scottish public. And it will uh, it will not be good. They will lose any sympathy they have for, a, for their chase for a pay rise. People don't mind lose, missing the weather, missing some news programme, fine. You miss the football in the Euros, your name is mud. Anyway, NUJ members at STV, which has been contacted for comment, last voted for industrial action in December 2022, when a last minute deal by the management avoided strikes. And a spokeswoman for STV said, like most businesses, STV is not immune from the adverse and unprecedented economic backdrop, and yet still managed £87 million profit. You can pay them a little bit more. Uh, and that's it. Just pay them a bit more. Knock it up. I don't have to go all the way. Just knock it up. If you've got that spare cash lying around, and you have, pay them. Pay the man or get off the pot, basically. But don't let them uh, screw over the, the team. Don't let them screw over the coverage of the Euros. Otherwise, it will be curtains for STV. Coming up. I do love the old big tournaments. And uh, when I was uh, accounts office manager years ago, um, I was responsible for doing all the holidays. And you'd see them crawl up because uh, every department you could have. I mean, I could have holidays whenever I wanted because it was my department. But you see them all come up for the different departments and any department only allowed two people off at any one time. Uh, and so, of course, when the games were announced, they say, oh, England are playing on this day or, you know, Scotland are playing that day or whatever. And you'd be, you'd be up those stairs. Never a problem, actually, with the Scottish. There's only a few Scots in the company. But then the big England games come. They'd all be piling up the stairs, racing up, going, can I have the Tuesday off? Can I have the Tuesday off? All right, who's first? Right, you're first. Tuesday off. Yeah, OK. You know. And they knew that you could only get two. And um, oh, it was a mad scramble, man. It was, they were fighting. Well, you can have the Tuesday off for the first game. And you want the Friday. I'm going to give you the Friday off for the second game. You know, you have to, yeah, Otherwise, there'll be fisticuffs. But, yeah, you would, especially when... I bet it was the Yardmen or something. Oh my God, they would fight you in the beaches to get that, to get those matches. But that's how it goes, isn't it? It's all, it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you later. Thank heavens, I've, ma I've made it. It's been an awful bloody day. Right, bye.